Titus chapters 1 to 3. Chapter 1, Introduction 1 Paul, a servant of God, and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, to in hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before the ages began, three but has in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our severe, for to Titus, my own son after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ are severe. Ordain elders in every city. 5. For this cause I left you in Crete, that you should set in order the things that are lacking, and ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed you. 6. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children not accused of rebellion or unruly. 7. For a bishop must be blameless, as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, not violent, not given to dishonest gain. 8. But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good, sensible, just, holy, temperate. 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to refute the opposition. Rebuke false teachers. 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially they of the circumcision, eleven whose mouths must be stopped, who ruin whole households, teaching things which they ought not, for dishonest gain. Twelve one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. Thirteen thus witness is true. Therefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. Fourteen not giving heed to Jewish myths, and commandments of men, that turn from the truth. 15. Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience are defiled. 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable, and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Chapter 2. Speak Sound Doctrine. 1. But you speak the things which become sound doctrine. 2. That the aged men be sensible, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in love, in patience. 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becomes holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things. 4. That they may teach the young women to be sensible, to love their husbands, to love their children. 5. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. 6. Young men likewise exhort to be sensible. 7. In all things showing yourself a pattern of good works, in doctrine showing incorruptness, gravity, sincerity, a sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is an opponent may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. 9. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not talking back, 10. Not pilfering, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God are severe in all things. 11. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. 12. Teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live sensibly, righteously, and godly in this present world. 13. Looking for that blessed hope, and the glorious appearing of the great God and our severe Jesus Christ. 14. Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a people for his own, zealous of good works. 15. These things speak, and exhort, and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise you. Chapter 3. Be ready for every good work. 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. 3. For we ourselves also were once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. 4. But after the kindness and love of God our severe toward man appeared, 5. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration, and renewing of the Holy Spirit, 6. Whom he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our severe, 7. That being justified by his grace, we should be made as according to the hope of eternal life. 8. This is a faithful saying, and these things I desire that you affirm constantly, that they who have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men.
9. But avoid foolish questions, and genealogies, and contentions, and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. 10. A man that is divisive after the first and second admonition reject, 11. Knowing that he that is such is perverted, and sins, being condemned of himself. Conclusion 12. When I shall send Artemis unto you, or Tychicus, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. 13. Bring Zenos the lawyer and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be lacking unto them. 14. And let our own also learn to maintain good works for urgent needs, that they not be unfruitful. 15. All that are with me greet you. Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen.